a martial display and some fighting words. We've seen troubling PRC coercion from the East China Sea to the South China Sea to right here in the Southwest Pacific. As tensions rise in Asia, the US Defense Secretary and America's top diplomat are both in Brisbane to entrench the alliance. Lloyd Austin accusing Beijing of intimidating its neighbors. And we'll continue to support our allies and partners as they defend themselves from bullying behavior. The US is focused on deterrence and is sending more Marines, fighter jets, bombers and submarines to Australia with the federal government's full support. Richard Miles is less blunt about which countries are being deterred, but sees an increasingly volatile and dangerous world. The way forward in respect of all of that is not obvious, but one thing is really clear. Now is the time to be working closely with friends. Perhaps the most important part of that cooperation is AUKUS and America's commitment to provide at least three nuclear-powered submarines to Australia. But that will require a green light from Congress and now some US Republicans are threatening to delay the bill unless the Biden administration commits to ramping up submarine production in America. If the Defence Minister is anxious, he is not showing it publicly. There is legislation going through the United States Congress. Um, that is a process which involves a whole lot of colour and movement that we were expecting. And while the Biden administration's heavy hitters are reassuring figures for Australian officials... You are very welcome. You are great friends of, of our country. The spectre of partisan division in Washington also brings back memories of Donald Trump's isolationism. They are uh, indispensable to the, the balance in the region, the strategic equilibrium, uh, how we make sure we get the region we want. And that might hang in the balance as well. Stephen Jedgetts, ABC News, Brisbane.